Shinobi. All right. That's awesome. Let me go ahead and uh, minimize this over here on this side so I can um, look at some other stuff. Oh, man. What is this computer doing to me today? All right. All right. Let me get this over yonder here. All right. Awesome. Now let's get this over here. Let's see if we're live on YouTube. I gotta check all the angles yep. now. Chester's doing his show too. Yeah, I know. I know everybody. It's Thursdays are rough, man. Thursdays are rough. Very. It's a lot going on on Thursdays, but it's all good. You know, we all, we always do what we do. We don't come out here. We yes. Always... I think I, I picked the worst. To, I think I, I picked the worst two days to stream. <laughs> like, oh, I'm gonna stream on on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. I mean Thursday and Tuesday. And Tuesday. Yeah. Well, Wednesdays are also problematic because you have the pro edition of Crown and Quartered. Yeah, Wednesday it was really bad. I mean, they were doing and they were doing uh, She Hulk too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that that was pretty cool. Let's see what YouTube is saying. All right, YouTube says blank screen. Oh, hold on, hold on. Here yeah. we go. All right, YouTube is good to go. Yeah. All right. So next thing I'm gonna do is where's my iPhone? Speaking of which, this piece here is getting some love on the uh, social medias. Yeah, I, I can dig it. I can dig it. I can dig it. Right, let me go on iPhone. Let me go on YouTube. You might hear it echo for a second. I want to make sure that I can hear me and you both. Right. Uh, let's see. What, oh. Let's see what's going on. Right. All right. Go ahead and speak again. Howdy. Howdy. Yep. We're good. I can hear you and me. Boom. Excellent. That that that's beautiful. That's beautiful life. I'm not gonna be mad about that. All right. So let's uh, go go on D Live. D Live is up. Nothing's on the chat. Go to restream chat. All right. And good evening, everyone. Okay. Not now there, you. Uh, F11 did. Oh, that's the wrong F11. Huh. F11. What? There you go, F11 that. Minimize this. What is going on with my system today? And Unreadable Skunk Girl says, Aloha, guys. Hey, Unreadable Skunk Girl, how you doing? Hi, Skunk Girl, how you doing? I'm over here trying to figure out why. There you go. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. And boom. There you go. Life is beautiful. All right, we got everything the way I kind of sort of, I kind of sort of needed to be. And boom. Yeah. I'm waiting for the fulfillments to actually happen because I might have some plans with that uh, short story I uh, did for him. Oh yeah. Just uh, just a little something for people who may not have who may not have backed the uh, skunk girl. Nothing nothing too important. Mm. Maybe a kind of like a Patreon. Oh yeah, Patreon would be good if you had it. You know. I have to set it up, though. Yeah. Uh, you know, set it up. You know, you do enough art and stuff like that. You're doing something yeah. every day. So you can have like a little Patreon, <laughs> excuse me, a little Patreon going on. Yeah. All right. So uh, everything looks good. The Unbreathable Skunk Girl, can you hear both of us? Let us know. I just checked it on my iPhone and I could hear both of us. So that's a plus. That's a plus. And of course, I'm kind of digging using the OBS. Um, set up but my computer is really acting funky today um because you know 
I could put all those little cute things that pop up on the upper right hand corner, you know. Right. Like, like share, subscribe, mm -hmm. all that good stuff. And uh, that way, you don't have to be continu continuously reminding people to do so. It's always popping up. Right. Yeah. So that's awesome. So man, so you're thinking about doing a little something, something on Patreon for the little short story, you know? And uh, so you're gonna wait for the fulfillment. And uh, yes, yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, that Manny has kept it on demand. Yeah. At least so you know he can uh he can start working on the fulfillment. I think right. that's a, that was a pretty smart move on his part. Yeah. Yeah, cause that whole yeah, cause that volume that book one is gonna be a one time thing. Yeah, you know, a one time shot is not a bad idea. You know, right. I mean, you can always <laughs> they can always bring in that whenever because you always have the files. Right. <laughs> Bless you. Ugh. You can always have the files, so that's always gonna be good. Yeah, it's always gonna be good. Well, anyway, people, if y'all are here, just let us know that you're here, you know. Say something in the chat, F1, whatever. Uh, <laughs> you know, let us let us know. You guys are alive and well. Let me uh, let me do the whole Sharuski on Los Tweeters and Sharuski on La Facebook. Mm -hmm. You know, just in case somebody from Facebook wants to, you know, yeah, jump over. Jaw. Yeah, you never know. You never know. No, you don't. Because you know we're doing the whole multi multicasting thing again. We're, we're going all over the place. Of course. And, uh, we're going to L. Those Twitter, I mean, not Twitter, we're going to uh, D Live, we're going to YouTube, we're going to Twitch, and we're going to Mixer. So we're everywhere tonight, <laughs> everywhere yeah. tonight. And uh, we're trying, you know, trying to do big things. I'm keeping my eye out. Well, I don't need to keep my eye out with Hangouts. People jump on when they jump on, and, yeah. you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. In the meantime, in the between time, you know, like I said, it's a, it's a beautiful Thursday evening. Yeah. It's stream, but I just have to keep an eye out for because when they go in, they go backstage, and then you gotta let them in. And indeed, 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 indeed. And yeah. Yeah, maybe. Ask the question about the audio working because I, I mean, we have quote unquote four people watching, but the chat right. is awfully quiet today. Awfully quiet. So, you know, if you're out there, it's, you know, it's okay to get involved. We don't bite. At least I don't think we do. Just let us know what y'all are thinking. You know, what's, what's going on in your minds, what y'all think about right. all the things going on, what would y'all like to see on the show, you know, all those things. Hey, Ara, get, Ara's in the house. How you doing, Ara? How's life treating you, bud? Yay! He dropped a high all, which is awesome. Awesome. Yeah. What I was trying to do with the uh, the piece that uh, Edwin caught the first time was actually have the gray She-Hulk, but have her pr look pretty. Right, right. Yeah. Edwin is a good guy. One of the, one of the few good guys out there. Yes. But you know, so I can't complain. You know, usually when he gives people love, man, it's 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 well accepted. So 
Yes. I actually got to uh, talk with him a little bit on Tuesday night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. He actually followed me back on Twitter, which is pretty cool. Because I know he's not really following too many people. He's following me on Facebook, but not on Twitter. Yeah, I was like, oh, cool. You know, I guess I guess he found out I was harmless. You know, that's a good thing, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, Aaron, oh, here we go. I'm good. Uh, let's see. Wow, your mom turned 80. Wow, that's amazing, man. Yeah. Yeah, and every day is a gift. Yeah, every day is a gift all the time. But yes. yeah, when you when you know, when you have bad right. days or crazy years and you're turning 80, man, that is definitely a, an abundant blessing, I would say. It's a great abundant blessing. I ain't even mad at that, Ara. Hey, congratulations to your mom and of course to you because she's still around for you. So that's awesome, yeah. dude. That's very awesome. That is very, very, very right. awesome. Very, very good. Not only good, but very good. Very, very good. All right, so that's good. So we know at least Ara can hear us. Yeah. And uh, so that's awesome. So we, we're doing better than we did on Tuesday, <laughs> as far as that goes. Yeah. You know, at least as far as uh, people being able to hear us. You know, that would be pretty amazing. Maraña. Old Cannon is in the house saying, looks, Yay! looks like a small bullpen tonight. Hey, y'all. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I tried, but, um, you know, sometimes we just don't get it. Everybody just doesn't come on, you know? It, right. It is what it is on that one. Um, we do what we can, but we, we'll, we'll still do art, you know, and we'll yes. still do inks, and, um, uh, you know, we'll do what we can. The, and the, you'll be here making sure I save all the way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But at least, uh, at least you can hear us this time, right, Marania? You could hear everybody, all two of us. <laughs> everybody, all two of us. Hello. I accidentally clicked on my phone and turned on somebody else's YouTube channel. It's not oh. good. Get copyrighted. No, that's no, that's not good at all. Yeah, that was uh Touch screens, man. Touch screen phones. Yeah, right. hopefully more people will join in, you know. Uh, that would yeah. be awesome. Um, you know, the door is always open. People are always welcome. Um, and, you know, Manny comes in when he comes in. And Josh, yeah. I don't know what he's doing tonight. But um, it is what it is. Yeah. We'll do what we do. I read the, I read the new issue of Dan Slot's uh, Fantastic Four. Uh -huh. It was actually pretty good. There you go. See, I told y'all, man, not all new comics are bad. You know, you just it's just a rare thing to find something that you enjoy now. But, I mean, yeah. you just got to find it, you know? Yeah. Still not too sure what everybody's complaining about with the, uh, with the uh, uh, current Captain America run. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess he's not quite the uh, Captain America we're expecting, but... The circumstances that are going on around him make the game interesting. Right, right. And Manny Correa just joined in the house. Yay! So Manny's back there. I don't know if he's going to, if we're going to have the same issues last time where his equipment wasn't allowing me to, well, this is Hangouts. Well, so. this is Google Hangouts, so I have no problem. There uh, you go. Yeah, I apologize for that, Manny. I was trying to. No, don't be apologizing for that. Don't yeah. worry about it. You move on. You strive yeah. on. You go forward. You more. Come on, don't don't look back. That's all you gotta do. Same thing with with what's going on with whatever's going on wherever every everything else is going on tonight. We don't care about that. We care about ERTs. ERTs arts. That's what we're uh, here for tonight. Yes. We got Lady <laughs> out here. We're we got Aranya. We got yeah. Ara. We got a breathable skunk girls out there saying aloha, guys. We How got, you doing, honey? Yeah. So that's what we're doing here. Yeah, we, we got we got the faithful. The, the faithful are always here, man. That's and that's the most amazing part. They never yeah. stop watching. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's that's what it's all about. They never stop. There, there is no other show going on right now. This is the show to be on, people. You've yeah. seen those other shows. You know what they're all about. You don't know what what Shinobi Raccoon's gonna do over here. He can do something crazy. 
I got you don't tricked. know what Dolph Press is going to do. You don't know what ERT is going to do. This is where it's happening, people. <laughs> Lady Celtic will say, what is going on now? Nothing, nothing. What's going on right now is Manny's over here trying to be enthusiastic. Yeah, no, Manny's, yeah. Manny's doing big things. Manny's doing big Man, things. Manny's, Manny's being the car, carnival barker. How are you guys doing out there? How am I doing? How are you doing? Everybody's doing fine. Yep, everybody should be doing fine. And there you go. Hey, and that's awesome. So they can hear you. They can yeah. hear everybody this time, which is amazing. See, Aura's over there saying, preach, preach it. it. Preach it. I know. <laughs> He's preach like, a man. Preach it. <laughs> preach, it, preach it, brother Manny. You're preaching to the choir. Oh, no, it's not preaching to the choir. Let's, people out in the chat, people out in Chatville, please share this out. Get some more people up in here supporting yes. Mr. ERTs. That's what we need to do. Yeah, I'm we try to, we try to give you some high quality H2O, I mean, entertainment. I'm drinking, <laughs> I'm drinking from H2O right now. We give you some that's high quality a, H2O. That's about as hard as I get nowadays. <laughs> yeah, you and me right. both. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes I have a soda, a soda pop. Yeah, huh. uh, though, man, it, it's been a crazy couple of weeks for me, but I think I got everything under control. Life, life is is turning around. Life is beautiful. Oh, man! But I'm telling you what, brothers and sisters. Well, well, today I, I, it's funny, right? Because today I go to um to the centering class with, uh, you know, and, and they, the question they asked me is, uh, uh, what challenges have you faced lately? And I looked at them and said, challenges? I don't, uh, my life is great. Nothing challenges me. <laughs> like, I just keep it moving, you know? They looked at me like, what? <laughs> I was like, yeah, what? <clears throat> there's no, there's no challenges. There's no challenges in life. I mean, there are challenges, but it's, it's a mindset, you know? So we, we move forward and every day, like Manny says, and we have to have, keep a positive outlook. And, uh, and Maranya Volcanon says, I am here for the digital bullpen smiley face. Well, we appreciate that. See, so, yeah, I, I really want to use the Hangouts with OBS uh, set up. Um, I like StreamYard and what right. it does. And I don't stream enough for me to have to get the paid version of StreamYard. I can still use yeah. it. But I, um, like I was telling Shinobi, I like the fact that with OBS, right? I can uh I can put the little digital bullpen logo on the upper right hand corner, you know, and have it, you know, flash around. And I wanna do some other stuff. Um the the more I get more adept with, with it, I wanna do some other stuff, like half cards with everybody's information on it popping in the bottom. You know, uh, um that would be cool. That'd be really cool. You know, make it make it a a, a legit legit thing, you know what I'm saying? So so my question is, uh Shinobi, what, what did you do to Maranya? Maranya is uh, berating you out there in Chatville. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. can do something crazy and save us for it without me nagging him doing it. <laughs> well, sometimes I get wrapped up in my work and I forget to save sometimes. And if I don't catch it, and if and if, some, and if the computer freezes, I lose all that. <laughs> Is, I, mean, I just says hello to Metalhead, but um, I didn't see a Metalhead in the chat. I'm trying to keep an eye on it. I have to have three monitors with the OBS set up. Oh. Hmm. Um, because it... Uh, oh, yeah, there you go. Same old He's Metalhead. There. He's there. There he goes. There he goes. He's there. <laughs> I don't think high-quality H2O uh, Wetman Spring Water. <laughs> I drink that high-quality H2O. I'm sorry. Wetman Spring Water. Yeah, we're talking about the high quality H two O from the from, from the glacier, you know, from the Arctic mm. Ocean. <laughs> well, I get to drink uh, volcanic filtered water. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Nice. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I don't even know. One of the best waters in the country. Come to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I don't even doubt that for some reason. Easy. But it's, it's good stuff. Yeah, yeah okay. I'm moving back and forth and my mic doesn't move with me, so um yeah, I apologize. I'll try to keep I'll try to keep mic centered on me. Um, I apologize. But I, I don't have like a headphone mic. I have an actual mic mic and the mic is stationary, but I got a digital tablet on my left, a regular computer on the on the center, and then the the screen that I'm using to view the chats, it's all the way to the right on a whole nother desk. <laughs> Which uh, which it will cost me to you know move back and forth a little bit, so I get it together. Uh oh. Huh. Speaking of 
Speaking of being doing something crazy. Shinobi's drawing, so let me click it on Shinobi and he's gonna show off his uh Hulk. She Hulk. Um, excuse me. That don't look like She Hulk. Okay, that looks like She Hulk. That was a kind of rabbit looking She Hulk, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well the rabbit is I'm going to uh put that in the uh in the uh, Drawn and Quarter fan edition page later on. So that show, can I have see no, that. no clue what that show is. We do not speak of that show, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're here for the digital bullpen. Come on. Come on, unless, man. Unless you're on it, then, then we'll go and cheer you on. Is any of the digital bullpens out there? I don't think there? so. I, I didn't uh, see anybody. I haven't tuned in. Uh, Pablo Romero art is in the house. My name, Yay! Is, my name is Pablo. It is too much green on that. Yeah. Not in not enough bobs. <laughs> you you, yeah. you you put a robe on, take off the robe. <laughs> um Yeah, probably doing big things, man. Lady Celtic, if Clip Studio Paint does have an auto save, I don't know how that works. Yeah, mine not, mine actually does it automatically. Every it so does. often it does and it picks me off because I'm trying to do something and right. all of a sudden I wait ten seconds for it to auto save. Right, because I would say every so often I'll lucky. be drawing and then I'll get that circle. <laughs> if you're lucky, 10 seconds. If not, it's horrible. Yeah. All right, I'll keep my mouth shut now. No, no, you're fine, buddy. You're fine. You're fine. I cut you off. Don't, don't, don't yell at me in the after hours, please. Okay, so let me... No, no, no. Definitely not, bro, man. <laughs> um, all right, so... so... So I'm on I'm on the Discord booster posted drawn and quarter fan edition link and I posted our link right underneath his post because because I'm classy like that. Because <laughs> oh, I'm classy like that. Oh you my. Cla- God. Hmm. Well, I don't know if I am or not, but you know. You You know I'm. I'm going to go ahead and post it on the discourse as well. More bobs are needed. Uh, well, he's drawing the tricks rabbit. I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand how, how you're going to get that Pablo. Um, yeah, but you know, Hey, Hey, maybe, uh, maybe Manny will grace us with something. I'm over here just doing this, uh, Spider-Man panel again. And, um, I'm grace you guys with, you know, and hopefully, uh, you guys know that I'm in the, I'm in, uh, finishing off the book mode right now right yeah i know i know yeah. you, guys, you, guys, you guys did see what i posted in the dog stars last night uh i probably did but no, i think I, I've been on I think a lot I did of, as well i've been on a lot of meds lately to be honest with you and so <laughs> well you did answer me but i know you saw it <laughs> yeah like i said hey dude dude they, they got me on so many pharmaceuticals right now i'm surprised i can even function dude like, yeah, I just real, need. Real. I just need. I need to post that in the wraparound oh, cover. Oh, and, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where I answered the uh, answered with the name, with the name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Need to make sure that I got their name spelled right and their character spelled yeah. right because when it goes to printing, and I am shooting, I am shooting, I am shooting for September sixteenth to send the files off. Whoa, that's amazing, dude. Yeah, the book's done, people. Book's done, son. We just got to go over editing. And right now, as you saw that that uh, that page that I made for everybody for last night, I mean, that's going to be part of the book. And I got the fan contest on, about the book. I got the wall of skunkies in the book. So, yeah, there's a lot of goodies in there. Nice. So, so that that's a little shout out to all the people that have been following me on this show and on my show. You know, I'm, I'm going to put credit where credit is due, you know. Yep. And I'm, I'm going to make this book special. It's yeah. going to be special. Well, Ira says he's going to buy one. It's on demand. So you you, you, you still got time. I, I don't you, know you, how to do you that. Got, you, got time, you got time in September. Let's put it that way, people. <laughs> you still got time. Still you got, got time. time in September because once the books go out, I'm going to take it off demand. Yeah. It, and, it, uh, because I, I gotta make sure that whoever supported the book, they get something special and it's gonna be worth something. I'm not gonna keep on printing and printing and printing. No. Yeah. It's gonna be a very very finite run. I do have some plans. I got some plans. I was talking to KG about some plans. We've been looking over some stuff. I might actually even offer a hardcover, limited Ooh. edition, 
of That'd just cool. 50 of them. That's it. Be I'll cool. be looking at it. It's going to cost me a little bit more, but it'd be a cool thing to make. And I'm, I'll even make a dust cover for it. That'd be Ooh. pretty awesome. And uh, Lady Celtic Moon, I don't know. I never messed with the autosave setting. I just know that mine does it automatically. And when it does, it does. Like, I'll just sit there and watch the little circle spin. <laughs> but I know it autosaves, which is good for me. Because I'm, I will also forget to save. But then again, I don't do anything important. I just ink. So, you know, I'm just, eh, whatever. If I lose it, I just ink it again. More practice. <laughs> That's my philosophy. That's my philosophy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You was gonna break out the ukulele uh, on Tuesday night. I, I heard oh. it for a minute. That was not a ukulele. That was a that was a Stratocaster. Ooh. <laughs> Excuse me. I heard. I heard. I heard strings being plucked. Is all I can say. Yeah. I heard. But what's, what's cool is. <clears throat> You, you you did see that hollow bottle, that hollow body guitar that I bought a couple weeks ago, dude. That guitar is so good, and it was very inexpensive. You know, I looked on YouTube, and so many people ranted a rave about it, saying it's such a great guitar for the money. And like, yeah, it is. It's really good. Oh, so they were right. I bought it for my son, but he's too small. He can't he can't control it on his lap. Oh. He keeps slipping off his lap. So I. Uh, the other day, yesterday, I fixed up my cheapy, cheapy guitar. I mean, this is a guitar I bought from Ross's for 30 bucks, but it fits him. It's a first act guitar. 30 okay. bucks, good enough. He can practice on that. Heck yeah. You know, when he gets older, he can step up to the Big that leaves. nice. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like, I mean, the Stratocaster is a beautiful guitar. It is. But I like the cheap one better. The cheap one sounds better. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> Just yeah, funny how that goes. Yeah, Pablo says Mango Studio Sage, but he doesn't even notice it. And Lady said, I just bought that program to play with it. Well, it's a, it's a wonderful program to play with. That's all <clears throat> I do with it. Let's play with it. Yeah, yeah if you're going to yeah. make comics, then you may as well go with a program like that one. You know, speaking of, speaking of comics, what do y'all think about... Um, those of you that that pay that pay attention to Pope Fire, what do you think about that relentless book? She's talking about dropping. Is she? Is she in there? Is she out there? Uh, no, but I just thought about it because I have to do a commission for her. I did not. I did not watch her live stream, and I bet she's upset. I didn't with watch her. it either. I was supposed to be on it, but I was kind of stuck in the back room talking shop with Tank. <laughs> yeah, speaking of back in the back room, Trusty Psychic's in the chat, but he's not on the panel. What up with that, Trusty? Yeah, what's going on there, Trusty? What up with that? Yeah, I, I, I saw the show a little bit. I got the gist of it. No, the thing, the reason why I brought it up is because she commissioned Trusty. She commissioned me. She wanted to commission you, Manny. And uh, to do uh, one of the characters. That's cool. I mean, I, I'll just DM her and apologize for not being on there. I mean, I was just I was stuck in the back room talking shop. Yeah, that's some, sometimes that happens. Sometimes it happens. Yeah. The funny part, she was there with me at first. We were talking before she went on air, and she said, "Oh, she's got to go and do her her live stream." And I said, "Oh yeah, I'll, I'll try to get there." And I just never got around to it. By the time I realized, like. Oh, uh, her show's done. Yeah. <laughs> but I got business done. So yeah. what can I say? You know, That's a plus. Well, you got to do business. You got to do business, people. I mean, yeah. I gotta, you do I have gotta, a book that you have to publish. Yeah, I do have, book, yeah, I do have a book to, to start doing the final. This weekend, I'm going to finalize the, the, what you call that, uh, all the files, make sure I got them all formatted correctly. That's the pain in the butt, people. Oh, if you've never done it before, I've done it five times already, so I'm not looking forward to this weekend. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it, you you got to line up everything, make sure everything stays in the, the safe area, make right. sure that whatever's going to be cut off can go into the margins, and it's a pain in the butt. And you got to make sure all the word bubbles are in the safe area, so I get to do that this weekend. Yay! Awesome, man. <laughs> sounds like a, it sounds like a job for Manny, though. Well, yeah, unfortunately. 
Like so. I said, I've done it before. Yeah, uh, it'll be all right. Yeah. Trust me, said he just got here. Home? Lady Celtic Moon says she didn't watch the live either. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know. I was just wondering what I, what you know, if anybody heard about it, what the thoughts about it are. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but if nobody's paid attention, then eh, I guess right. we'll move on to the next one. All I know is that I got to do. Uh, I got. She gave me a character to draw. So. I, I, I'm right. roughing out some ideas, but I'm not really that fast or talented like, you know, you guys. So it's probably going to take me a while. Her book will probably be done by the time I get around to finishing it. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Far, I mean, Bofar and I don't know each other like that, so I'll, I'll forgive it. <laughs> 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 do you really want to know Pope Fire? Yeah, no. do, you, do, you really... do you really want to do that? <laughs> uh, Probably not. Let's we'll see what many listeners yeah. over here working on. Sneak well, peek. Working, like I said, I'm working on pages for Skunk Girl. This is one of those pages. A little, remember the fan art contest? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The fan art contest. Um, what's a, at the bottom of the fan art contest is going to be a little blurb. Go back and look at the pages and find the Easter eggs because every single one of these will be in the book somewhere. Right. And, but I, uh, and, I, and I said I was going to give Pope Raven a full color page, and that's what Pope Raven gets. She gets a full color page. Don't don't mind the blue bars. The blue bars is a layer that I put right. just to make sure that I know if I'm going off out out of the lines or something. Yeah, those blue bars never show up in. Yeah, well, no, I I made those blue bars. It's it's another layer, so. Oh, I it's another take, layer. I, okay. Yeah, so. I take them out. See, they're done. Oh, right. That's what it is because this is what you need to do. Yeah. You got to do that. That's 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 where you have to put everything. That's yeah. Where you got to be in the margin of error and where you're gonna cut stuff off and all this fun stuff. So. Yeah. Of from that blue background, I made my a different layer that kind of tells me where everything's right. at. Yeah, I'm kind of familiar with how Kablam does things. It's a pain in the butt. Yeah. But yeah. So, and then I got to, you know, just, just finish off these pages. Yeah. You got it, bro. You got it. Yeah, it's just, it's just, a, it's time consuming. It's, yeah, no, that, that part I believe. Yeah, consuming. that's only drawback. Yeah, it's, it's not like I got, you know. Why don't you old, have a template, uh, like a template made for that. So you could just draw on the pre-made template and that's all squared away at the end. Yeah. Well, it really doesn't matter because as I'm going through the book, I'm resizing everything and all kind of stuff. Right. Right. At the end, it's, right. At the, end the way I, the way that I work it, everything was pretty much almost, I did use a template, but you okay. still got at the end, we look at everything and make sure everything fits. Okay, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Because when you're drawing the book too, that you you forget like, oh no, this is gonna fall into the cracks of the book, especially uh -huh. double pages, double right, spread right. pages. Always you get screwed up on that. Yeah. You gotta make sure you got your your word balloons in the safe areas. Yeah, you don't want to be in the middle, even though your character might be in the middle. So. He's going to look kind of funky. His arm is going to be foreshortened because he's going to be in the crack. Yeah, that happens. It happens. <laughs> I bet it does. I bet it does. Yeah, Trusty asked when the... Uh, I, I, don't, I answered him in the chat. Anybody who missed the stream, it was this past Monday, I think, I believe, right after Manny's show. So if you go to Boat Fire's channel and go back to Monday, you can, uh, you can catch the stream with all that stuff on it. And then, you know, come back and let me know what y'all think about it. You know? It's an interesting concept. I, I heard a little bit about it, um, but you know, I wanted to hear what you guys thought about it. Yeah, I did not. I was not there. Yeah, I caught the replay, but then again, I knew that it was that she was doing that stream. And Monday was not a good day for me, but Tuesday got better. Means they got way better. Today is super way better. So yep. yeah. Let's see. Oh, Naranya says register marks, much like the blood bleed lines that are blue on Bristol board for comics. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. 
think there was a Indeed, queen. indeed, indeed. That's uh, what we're talking about. All right, Lady Celtic Moon, you be safe. You know, those reboots could be hazardous for the health. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Reboot your system, come back and join us. We'll be here till, yep. you know. We'll definitely be here. Till 12 o'clock EST. Uh, I should say midnight. Yeah, but it's been it's been good, man. Everything's cool, man. Yeah. Now that we got this uh, thing with the OBS with the Hangouts working again, yep. I don't know what happened on Tuesday, man. That was that was so frustrating. But now we got. It was kind of frustrating trying to watch Drawn and Quartered last night when they were doing it using Streamyard and could only show six people at a time. Right. Oh. So, so those guys are supposed to be professionals. Why can't they figure out OBS? Come on. <laughs> well, they you use know, OBS I mean, for everything I else. Mean, I mean, if that's going to be their livelihood, you figure they would have been yeah that out long time ago. Get those bugs worked out. Like for us, we're not we're not making our life on drawing comics. So, and or super chats. Out. Yeah, we're figuring it out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, last week I did a really great live stream that nobody gets to watch because i got copyright strike yay <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah you've was, arrived <laughs> that that happens i told you what I, that's warner uh media group so you, you got to find out why warner doesn't like you no it was atlantic Re records was it okay yeah atlantic but you know what that's yes because there's other people with that same video same song and dare not copyright strike mm. yeah. that's oh, something no. i never really that's something i never really understood they'll copyright you gotta be turned in. that's how you get you get copyright strike people mm -hmm. you get turned into youtube and they alert the person who owns the copyright and then they put the strike on you yeah it's mm -hmm. it has no it's yeah somebody somebody turned me in friday <laughs> yeah, because yeah, because they have like multiple. You got all these music videos with where people put put in like One Punch Man footage and adding rock and adding a uh, copyright and rock music to it, and there's those channels are still up. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, Josie Kitty is in the house, so let's welcome Josie Kitty to the chat. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. And uh, you can always fight it, I guess, if you want to. Yeah, I don't care. It's one one copyright share. What what could do? What could happen to me? Yeah, I copyright. Get another one off of YouTube. Why? Whatever. That's yeah. the that's what happened. That's what happens. I mean, yeah, I got sad. one. Um, I got one like one of my first videos. I messed around and had some background music on. <laughs> See, I don't. Yeah, I don't put any background. That's the and the funny, the funny part is you guys all know that what I played was not my video. I played somebody else's video. I'm not going to tell who it was because I don't want that person to get in trouble. Yeah, I, I had some background music on that I didn't realize you could hear. That's why I get, you know, like when I hear a TV on somebody's uh, background and whatnot, I'm like, yo, 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 turn that TV off. Because okay. I got hit just because I had music in the background, not even playing near the speaker, but you could just faintly hear it. And, uh, and, I got hit up by because music was playing. It was, you know, music from Pandora. So <clears throat> I got like yeah, five copyright play. strikes on that stream. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so like this music does not belong. This music does not. This I got like an email and it listed like everything that Howard. they said. And for each song, it's like you got a copyright for this song. You got a copyright strike for this song. You got. I was like, man, and that was like at the beginning, you know, and not like before I knew any of you guys, and I was doing like uh, I was gonna do like an art stream, right? So I just for to entertain myself because nobody was really watching. Nobody knew me either, you know. I was just I just played some music in the background, right? And yeah, that was like pick up everything. Yeah, I didn't think about it too hard. I mean, it wasn't like it was blasting on full blast. It was just. I just put it enough for me so I could hear it. You know what I'm saying? Apparently, uh, it picked up, and yeah, I got I got blasted. I got blasted. <laughs> so it, it's a live and learn, you know. So I haven't done yeah. that since. You know, I was like, nope, I don't play nobody's music. Right. 
no matter what what they tell me. I was like, nope, 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 nope. Yeah, we got the great trusty psychic working on that wedding Kinnear piece. Yeah. Pretty stoked to see that. Yeah, I gotta I gotta finish this before I can start on the next uh next Pope Fire one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Pope Fire's not happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no. When she asked me, she asked me about maybe doing a variant cover for her book. Oh yeah, see, and that's what I was telling people. You know, like, did anybody watch the stream? You know, because she's definitely commissioning people to do work on it. You know, does anybody? You know, what are people's thoughts about it? But you know, um, I guess people are working yeah. on the book without even knowing what the book is about. And I didn't see her advertise any of it on her Twitter. Um, did she put it on the Discord? I don't remember. I know she put it out somewhere. I'm not on her Discord. Okay. I know she put it somewhere. I don't know where she put it. At least I don't think I am. Pretty sure. I know she... Did she put it in the wraparound cover? Or the dark side? I don't remember. She put it somewhere, though. I know that for a fact. That dialogue. Jeez. There we are. Let me look at the chat. Make sure everything is cool. Everything looks good. All right. So moving back, moving back to drawing. Oh, in my case, inking. Right. The one thing I do like about the Google Hangouts via OBS is like. Because you know I talk so doggone much, so when I talk, it doesn't automatically monopolize on me. Like, the last person to talk was Shinobi, so it's showing Shinobi. Right. <laughs> and, uh, so that's pretty cool. I like that part. I do like that part. So that's, that's awesome. Yeah. Can't get mad at it. No, you can't. Shulky, shulky. Let me uh, go back to Trusty for a little bit. <laughs> so we're getting ready for the hurricane here. Oh, is it Although, finally making it that way? It, yeah, tomorrow is when we should feel some effects. I mean, we're, we're getting a little bit of rain, a little bit of wind right now, but... Uh, you know, they're not expecting it to be, well, I mean, they, they say, you know, we're going to get some flooding, of course, and we're not too far from the water at my house. Right. So um, we've only ever had serious water up in the yard one time, and that was Hurricane Isabel, um, actually. And, and that was a tropical storm, apparently, by the time it got to us. It's just the conditions were just perfect mm. for serious flooding. Right. So I don't know. We'll wait and see. I still got to go to work tomorrow. Hmm. Yeah. All righty, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. <clears throat> Seems like my wife's been trying to sabotage the stream the whole time. Blowing in your <laughs> ear and stuff like that? No. First, <laughs> first you walked in and turned off, turned off the juice of the room. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, cool. Yeah, All you to do stuff. Got it. Because the, the houses here, for some reason, have a switch that turns off every outlet in the room. You know, I, 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 don't, get, I don't get these people here. I don't understand them, but hey. Yeah, my mom and dad's house, the upstairs, the bedrooms, they don't have any overhead lights. It's weird. And the house 
it's not that old. I think it was built in the early seventies. Yeah, I, I don't get what what some uh, some architects, engin- engineers, whatever. I don't get what they do when they do things like this. Drives me insane. It's like, uh, oh, oh, okay. You know, because if if that switch is flipped, half the outlets don't work. You should nope. try to plug them. Like, wait a minute. Oh, I gotta go to the other side of the room and hit the switch. Oh shoot, that reminds me. He got to go hit the switch, too. Hmm. All right. <laughs> the winner, Pope Raven, the champion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay. They said tricks are just not for kids anymore. At least that's Silly what Shinobi rabbit. says. Silly rabbit. Silly Shinobi, rabbit. are you drawing along with drawn and quartered? <clears throat> I'm actually drawing along as I as we're doing this bullpen. I didn't even turn it on. But I'm gonna be putting it in the uh thing. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. Why not? Whoa. Shinobi went dark. Popping it on Manny. (laughs) (laughs) Shinobi went dark. I went dark. Yeah, you went dark, dark. You went, you went. Caveman dark. Like, uh oh, he found out there's room over on Drawn and Quartered, so he's ditched us. No, I'm oh. still here. <laughs> oh no. It's not. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't be mad, you know, if he if he got a, a slot in there, that wouldn't be bad. Oh man, even Von Scriber <laughs> says, Hail Raven. <laughs> What's going on, even Evan? Yeah. Raven is he, he is our one D Live watcher. <laughs> Which I ain't even mad at it. I ain't even mad. Cause we're we're kinda everywhere now. Yeah. At least I, I like to think that we are. We may not be we may not be watched everywhere, but we're everywhere. Okay, let's see. Marania says I was in the path of a hurricane dash slash storm once at the beach growing up ocean water surrounded by the cottage and it was like 15 plus feet about above uh beach level yeah yeah them them waters they'll get there quick faster in a hurry doesn't take long right doesn't take long yeah we we go to the outer banks for a week every year during the summer and only once have we had to evacuate yeah uh, you know, uh, hurricane season is like at the end of summer, beginning of fall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's one thing I'm going to say that living on this side is, is good. I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, not in the least bit. Not in the least bit. And, uh, you could open the cottage back door and literally walk into the ocean. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing you, you didn't jump on there, man. Those waters have a lot of undercurrents and undertoes. You don't know what, what it'll do. Mm. I've, seen, uh, I've seen those waters take five and a half ton trucks and just push them out the way. So when then people say, "Yep, those be careful with uh, th- messing with those flood waters," they ain't lying. Yeah, that thing will push your car right on down the street with you in it. Yeah, 
think not not even think twice about it. <laughs> Marcus says I'm a little laggy still getting set up, but I'm here. Marcus Gibbons got his new computer, so he's happy. He's gonna be able to do videos now. So that's awesome. Thank good you, for him. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you for joining us. That's good. The Unbreathable Skunko says she survived Hurricane Hugo, 1989, Charleston, South Carolina. And look, folks, I grew up on an island, okay? <laughs> I grew up on an island. Oh, by the time these hurricanes get to y'all, man, I'm just kidding. Some of them do pick up steam. <coughs> but I grew up on an island, man. That's like, hurricanes is like a way of life. It's like setting your, mm -hmm. you, set, you set your watch by hurricanes on the island. Oh, it's hurricane o'clock time. Yes, yes. Well, let's let's go ahead and get our supplies now. I mean, I know it's a force of nature, but like when you live on an island, it's just like whatever. <laughs> it's like whatever. It's another one. You're just on a perpetual rebuilding cycle because some people just refuse to build their houses out of cement. So they right. every year they're rebuilding their little wooden hat huts all over again. And this was NC and you was around 10 years old. You must have been around uh, the Outer Banks area. Marcus Gibbons already dropping links. Dropping links for people to check out. That's Marcus, man. Super mod Marcus. The man, the myth, cheeseburger legend, Marcus Givens. Yeah. He's my hero. A real American hero. Yeah, once he finishes those videos. Marcus though, Givens is there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, once he finishes those videos, we're going to have to go check him out, give him some love. Yeah. You know? We're going to have to subscribe and get them notification bells. Give him some love. He's a hard working. He's a hard working mod. Yep. And uh, he does video effects, so can't wait to see what he comes up with. Right. Yeah. What do you call it? VFX, I guess, is what they call it. Video effects. I think that's what it's called. Like it says, he's doing good. Oh, the unbelievable skunk girl says she's doing good. Talking with the Marcus. Marcus entertaining the VIP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, man. Yeah. Marcus says he uh, got his best. Yeah. <laughs> I got another YouTube subscriber today, but uh, the, the notification didn't let me know who it was. Sometimes that happens. Yeah. But you know, just keep getting them. Which is funny because, like, I remember the other day, uh, I went to check up on, I went to look at that to see if I could look at that uh, live stream that uh, Good Thought was talking about, you know, because I had watched the replay and then it was gone. So I went back to watch it again to see, you know, what message it would give me. And then I noticed that it said I was unsubscribed again. And I, was like, <laughs> I was like, what? So then, yeah. I, so then I hit yeah. the subscribe button again. Right, and then it, that's when I right. said that WMG thing about it being blocked by WMG, and uh, I was like, "Oh, okay." And it's funny because I don't get it. Like, like I put them on my on my um, on my list of you know of channels, you know right. that, that I that that I want people to know that I frequent. I forgot what the name of it is. So I always forget because you know whatever. But anyway, he's there. I think I just have to. He's there, right? And there's no time you don't subs me from him, which has been twice so far. You know, I at, you know people probably going to why? Why is he, uh, you know, uh, advertising dude Sue's channel? He ain't even subbed to him. <laughs> I just that's all I can think about is like for real. That, that I'm pretty sure he was just looking at like, yeah, dude, you're not even subbed to him. You're telling us that we should go check him out. Mm -hmm. It's like that's not good. Uh, feature channels, feature channels. Yeah, so 
Yeah, so like, but it doesn't do it with any of my other feature channels. Just with you for some reason. Holy oh, man. Well, I've been telling you guys I've been losing subscribers left and right for the last month. Yeah, and right. uh, Devin, Once. Yeah, Evan says, YouTube purged a lot of channel subscribers allegedly. <laughs> Not allegedly. Hey. <laughs> we got proof. Hey, this is the this is the beef yet. We have to we have to say allegedly, even if it's right there in front of your eyes. And Evan says it from the safety of D Live. Like, <laughs> I was not saying all this stuff about YouTube. I'm I'm using my D Live accounts and I'm just hiding in the safety and warmth of my D Live brethren. Which is kinda cool, right? On D Live, um just a few times we streamed, I picked up about six followers. So that's awesome, you know. And like I said, man, we'll continue to do what we do, and and we'll see which uh, you know what platforms uh, will give us a lot of love, you know. But you know, I think YouTube is always going to be the main the main way, you know. But I probably reduce the number of platforms we stream to as uh, based on the the number that we get, you know, based on the viewerships on each of the platforms. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That oh, way I'm man. not I'm not taxing the system. I'm I just stopped because I put it on Good Dog Press and there's a whole bunch right. of smexiness going on there. Mm-hmm. Was like, oh. Just throwing a whole bunch of pinups together. I was like, oh. Look at that. Look at there. Look at here. See now where's Pablo at? See, Pablo? Where you at, Pablo? Pablo left and look, look Pablo, wherever you're at. It's for you, Pablo. It's para ti, mi amigo, el gran Pablo Romero. El gran Pablo de todos los gran Pablos. Okay, there it is. Yeah. What is wrong with this guy's face? Oops, let's not go away to show. Hmm. All right, chat is quiet. Everybody's quiet. We, everybody's just mesmerized, but by How all can you be quiet with, this... with all the, the booty shots? I uh, know, well, you know, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's not there's not a lot of movement in the chat today. They're just kind of on chill mode. It's a lot of booty. Yeah, it's booty hard to talk when your mouth's hanging open. <laughs> yeah, I got the patriotic uh, skunk girl that I did on July 4th. <laughs> I know, that's pretty cool. I was looking at that. I got that real sexy one that she doesn't have her tail on. Hmm. Maybe they'll get mad with me on that one. Nah, why would it get mad at you on that one, brother? Well, you know, people that got the book, they knew what she was all about. <laughs> just hotness. Is that what it's about? I want a refund. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hotness and fun and action and in your face. You know? Face. No, no fifis. I mean, there are some fifis and she deals with fifis. In her own own Lady Celtic Moon is back. She said she had to do. She could had to do kill before reboot. <laughs> had to do a cold kill. Oh, okay. But it's all good. You're back, and that's all that matters, you know. And we're here, and we're still streaming, going strong, you know. And Marcus Giddens is out here doing what he does. Yeah. Can you imagine that? A woman with two guns. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Yeah. Oh my uh, lord. It's a woman defending herself. Yeah. She don't need no man. <laughs> yeah. That's that's very important. Very important in today's society. Exactly. And Marina says, ouch, that could suck. Hardcore. So Marcus Gibbon dropping the Lady Celtic Moon links. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, Marcus. I guess doing big things. Yeah, man. A lot of good things have been happening in the digital bullpen, though, man. If you think about it, 
yeah. you know, Manny has success with the Unbreathable Skunk Girl. Uh, Chango the Broken Whale was uh, the Broken Veil, not the not not the Broken Whale, the Broken Veil. <laughs> <laughs> was was funded on Kickstarter, you know. There's a lot of good things happening around around this this group of people, you know. And I should know we got got to do a little uh, featurette on the Unbreakable yep. Skunk Girl. So, yes, sir. He does a really good job. So, means you don't work. You guys are gonna people that don't get it. They're gonna be kicking themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's the first appearance of Booster Boys in canon. Come on, you got to get it just for that. I know. <laughs> Marania says, uh, Boys will be canon. <laughs> Marania says, Bob's for Pablo, but Pablo ain't here. Where did Pablo go? Where's Pablo Romero? He, he gets what he wants and then he leaves like a spoiled child. Yeah, what's up with that? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. No comprendo. Yo no capisco, mi amiche. Oh, there goes out of save. <laughs> Everyone subscriber says, I don't have money. It's all right. Uh, he puts a little sad kitty thing. Well, I mean, it's on demand, at least till sometime in September. You know, but you know, it's going to be in demand for at least, at least September. You know, it's going to take me, you know, to tr send it to the printers to get it back. And then I'm going to have to package it up and send it out. So but, once but, it goes to the printers, I'm going to have a number in my head. And once it reaches that, if people start buying in demand, I'll just cut it off. That's all. So right, right. we'll get it now. But, hey, you know, but Evan. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Cause cause I bought three extra books. And I'm planning to do something special with some special giveaways with them. Dude, you could have just talked to me about it. No, bro. Have, I don't know. Do nah, nah, we don't do that. We don't do that. Man. I was gonna talk to you about that. It's like, why did you back it twice? Because I, there was uh, I saw a post and this dude drew a cute, unbreathable skunk girl. And cool. he was like, this is the only way I could support Manny. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to back it again. And I'm going to get the duty copy. Cool. You got to tell me who this person was. I'll find him on Twitter. He, do, he did, do, I have, do I have that uh, on the wall yet? No, I don't think that you do. Oh, man. I don't think See, that's you do. See, that's the thing. I've got the girls out there that I haven't even seen yet. No, you don't. And this was like the other day, man. It was like... um. Shoot, let me see if I can find it on 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 a Twitter. Cool. All right, so forgive me if I if I go silent while I'm over here trying to find it. Shinobi's gonna talk for the rest of the time. Come on, Shinobi, it's the Shinobi <laughs> and Trusty Sidekick Show. Go, go, <laughs> let's hear it. Come on. So, Come on. how are we all doing? <laughs> Put, him so some... Put him on the spot. That's what I'm talking about. Put him on the spot. Come on. <laughs> Can't be ERTs and Manny show all the time. We need to True. hear from you guys. Come on. All right. Well, I've I've got a question that uh, you know I was thinking of asking one one of these nights. Is there um is there a comic that you guys loved, but that probably most of us haven't heard of? Um. Hmm. Yeah, uh, well, recently the one that I like is is uh, Boom is doing uh, a series on Firefly from the TV show. I think we mentioned that earlier. Yep. And they're uh, they're on issue number. They're coming up on issue number nine. Um, and uh, the brown coats are going back to war. And so that's I I like because I like the show. So I'm digging with the deal uh. with that. Um, but I mean that's the one I like. It's by Boom Comics. Okay. The same company that gives us Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So the guy, the guy's name is Spider Knight. Spider Knight. Yeah. And I and I will send via direct message, and okay. I will send it to the Dog Stars. I have not seen this, most likely, because that name uh, does not ring a bell. 
Yeah. Me need. So what I'll but do is you know, um, let me bring it over to my other screen and let people see it. I'm trying not to dox anybody, so hold on. I understand. Oh, let me putting it all the way over to that's, the other screen. That is actually pretty oh, cool. That's nice. So I he like did that. that. So he let me is. let me show the, the the audience what I'm talking I gotta about. Re- I got a retweet. I got a retweet. I got a quote tweet this. So I thought it was pretty nice. You know, I thought it was a good rendering. Um, you mm-hmm. know, it was pretty good fan art. And, you know, on the caption, he was saying, like, I am literally totally broke, and the only way I can support Skunk Girl is with this drawing. And I That's was cool. like, I love it. I love the well, drawing. And when you it's going to be special, now he's actually going to be in Skunk Girl. I'm going to put that on the wall. Yeah. That, yeah. that wall is going to be in Skunk Girl. The, the wall of all the fan art, it's mm-hmm. in Skunk Girl. I yeah. put it in there. Right. Yeah. I mean, how many other campaigns have, uh, how many other Indiegogo camp or any crowdfunding campaigns for that matter have have gone through this much trouble to get as much fan art as possible in their books? Yeah, no, man has been very good about that. And, and but I, you know, I saw the tweet and um, let me move it away before I unclick something and start, you know, accidentally doxing people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We don't want to do that. Uh, Lady Celtic Moon, it's on Twitter. Uh, the guy's name is Spider Dash Knight. Or right. at, let me move my microphone while I read this. At Hudson Davis 19. Um, he tweeted it out on August 30th. Oh. So it's not, it's been about a week now, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you know, when he said that, you know, I I felt some kind of way. I gave him a I, I gave him a heart. You know, I gave him a like. Oh, hey, about man, uh, man. about fire uh, about Firefly. Uh, no, no, no. It's I, I got it. At, I get it on my um at my local comic book store, Lady Celtic Moon. Um, so we got yeah, Firefly is it's a book you can get at your comic uh a local comic book shop. It's distributed through Diamond, um, and it's a monthly issue. So uh, what happened was one day I was bored. I went to the comic book shop, and I was like, look, oh, Firefly. And they had, like, one through one through six at the time. So I just bought issues one through six because, <laughs> you know, I'm like, I like to binge read if I like something. And um, so, oh, I, so so I, I ran through it, and then now I'm waiting on issue. Then I picked up eight, and then I'm waiting on issue nine to drop. Pablo Romero art is back did anybody read the the batman white knight the first the yes first show? was it any good yes it was it I, was phenomenal yeah, I thought, I went to my comic shop the other day and the guy let me buy the whole set for 30 bucks nice hold on Eddie oh, Celtic oh, says oh. what no comic shoot no comic shop diamond <laughs> no diamond is a distributor diamond distributor yeah and, and any comic book store can order through Diamond to get it. Now, it's a monthly issue. Uh, Firefly? Yeah, Firefly. I like that's it. Name, that's the name of the brand of the guitar I just bought, Firefly. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, and it's really good, and it's cheap. It's Kiss a cheap it. guitar. <laughs> There's yeah. no coincidence, just people. And uh, Evan Boscriver says, I just started Doom Patrol. But yeah, dude, I thought that was a great a great drawing, man. I said, man, that's that's an awesome drawing. Yeah. And and I wanted I wanted to um I don't know, give him a little bit of love. Um so, dude, it was a beautiful drawing. The right thing. You know, I like I, it. I wanted to give him a little bit of love, man. You know, people say, you know, this is the only way and I'm like, Well, you know what? I got I could I could do something. I could do something for that guy. It, it's not much. It's a little something, something, but mm-hmm. like, I could do something. And who knows? He might get the second. He might get the second book. He might be, yeah. have. He might have some money next time around to get the book too. I am not reprinting the book. Remember that. I didn't it's... say reprint the book. I said no, the no, next no. one. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just reiterating that I'm not going to reprint number one. Yeah. No, only no, time, no. the only, the only time that book will come out will be in the trade paperback when all three. Issues are right. put together, yeah. Right. So, I I will 
print a few extra copies, not much, because it's it's expensive. <laughs> An 80 page perfect bomb book is not cheap. So it's it's not like oh I'm gonna go print up a thousand. No, that that is way out of the range. No ways. I mean when I say I'm gonna print extra, I'm talking like maybe twenty five to fifty and that's it. Because it, right. it, it is not cheap. It's gonna come out of my pocket to print anything beyond what people bought. This is go and you guys can go look. You guys can go find the prices. It ain't cheap. You know, perfect bound, eighty page, glossy, you know, hundred thirty pound cover, eighty pound pages, glossy interiors. No, it's not cheap at all. But anyway, so so that's why that's why I did what I did, Manny. Um, cool. Uh, it was you know it wasn't, yeah, we, could, we could have worked something out. I know, I, knew, I know, but you know the thing is this, man. You know, it's it didn't hurt me. It didn't hurt me. You know, uh, so it's good. You know, now if I was if I was in a situation where I was like, yo, Manny, I'm kind of strapped, but this dude did this, and I think you know we could do something for him. Uh, you know, then then we could have did we could have went that way, but it. It didn't hurt me. It didn't hurt me, and um, and, and <clears throat> I think the tier that I, I think the one that I got, the second one I packed is like three books or something like that. <clears throat> Two books. Two books. Is that what the one? You, well, well, we'll talk. We'll talk. Yeah. Yawn. But anyway, it, you know, so so then I was thinking that later on down the line, you know, after I took care of this one dude, you know, that I might have some fun with it, you know, and and uh, of course I'm not gonna you know, resell it or anything like that, but have some fun, you know, and, and maybe do like a giveaway on, on the stream, you know, mm -hmm. I, maybe a week or so after everybody's gotten it. So people can say, yo, that was a dope book. Da 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 You know I mean? Like, well, you can have your own copy if boom, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, uh, you know, call it a day, you know, I was, it's just, I don't know. For some reason that dude said that it just tugged on my heartstring. And I was like, man, I, I'm, I'm going to hook, I'm going to hook him up. Uh -oh. yeah. Don't don't get ERTs at a, a puppy shelter. Yeah, no, <laughs> They'll all come home with him. They'll all come home with him. I can't let these puppies go. What are all these what are all these dogs doing in here, dog? In Ooh, my house? I'm gonna save every single one of them. Uh, <laughs> hey. I don't have well, the hard covers, Lady Celtic Moon. I have the red, I have the soft bounds for Firefly. I got a whole bunch of them. Well, I've actually not done it that way, unlike certain activists in Barcelona who broke, who trespassed onto some farmer's property and stole some wabbits. Let's see. Now she's got me looking for the Firefly series. Oh, that's the Bigfoot Bill book. Never <laughs> mind. That's the other hard one. Uh, okay. The one that I have is... the first. The, okay, the first one that I bought that got me hooked on the Firefly series was... Uh, Firefly Legacy Edition by Josh Weedham and his book one and two. And it's a thick book, soft bound cover. And it actually has the original cast drawn in, which is I thought was pretty cool. Like, you got Nathan Fillion's face on here for real. So, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Little book. Um, so you got the one... I don't have light in this. Like I said, let me get my phone. Where's my phone so I can put the light on? She got me over here trying to read in the dark. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't need light when I draw digital. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I'm just. You know, I, I just don't need it. I don't know where the hell my phone is at. <laughs> I, right. Oh, there it is. All right. All right. So. Oop, I just dropped, dropped my stylus. Yeah. Ouch. I just bumped my head on the mic. All right. Huh. All right. Let's get this body started. All right. And I'm going to share this on Twitter. I don't think Lady Celtic Moon is, fire, is following me, but let's see. Done. No, nope, we're not gonna do anything. Cancel. Move out. Open up the Twitter app. Doot -doot. Doot -doot. And let's see. At 
I think it's Celtic Moon. Uh, yep, yeah, there you go. Tweet. All right, Lady Celtic Moon. I tweeted you. I tweeted you one of the books. It's dark in here. It's dark in this house. Like I said, when I'm throwing digital out, it's it's lights out. Complete. All right. Oh yeah, the Unification War Part One is hardbound. You're right, Lady Celtic Moon. Oh. And I have that one as well. Oh. And let me put that on there. Flash. There we go. And what's happening? Tweet that out to her as well. And then there's a actually floppy series um, that goes from issues one through eight, and they pick up after these uh, these trade paperbacks. Yeah. And I'll, I'll tweet. I'll, uh, I'm bent over again. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> and I will tweet you that stuff out later. With all the stuff, Lady Celtic Moon. Because man, you got me working really hard right now. <laughs> when I should just be chilling, moving around in this dark, in this dark room, bumping into everything. All right, all right, because the light switch is on the other side, so I digress. Uh, I digress. <laughs> Let's see what Shinobi's working on. Lucky you, because I need a light for everything. Uh, not for dark. Well, I'm drawing digital, man. Even when I have a, even when I'm on a computer, I need a light. Nah. I, <laughs> Huh? Well, I have a lighted keyboard on my on my laptop, so it's 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 a chroma keyboard, so it just changes colors, <laughs> which is wasted on me because I'm colorblind. But I still like <laughs> the fact that it changes. You know, it goes like from light to dark to a little bit darker to a little bit lighter to a little bit lighter. <laughs> you know, hey, you know, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. I digress. I digress. <clears throat> my grandmother had a Christmas tree that did that. Yeah, so it's pretty cool, um, you know, because like Manny, I, I think Manny has a has a Alienware laptop, but like Manny, I wound up having to buy a gaming laptop because it was the only laptop powerful enough to handle everything that I'm doing. Yep, that's what I got. That's oh, I told my brother, "What do I need?" She told me to buy the Alienware. I'm like, "Okay, I'll yeah. do that." I bought yeah. um, I went a little bit cheaper. I bought a Republic. Republic of Gaming, ROG laptop. <laughs> Alien World was a little bit pricey for me, but uh, you know, but it, it does the job. It does the job. It oh. hasn't failed me, and I ain't mad at it. Right. And like I said, the keyboard is backlit, so it it's it works wonders. I don't have to have a light on. I can see all my keys. Mm -hmm. And if you have a Costco near you, the Republic of Gamers or Gaming. Laptops have been showing up at Costco. Oh, there you go. Cool. Yeah, we got one. I'm not a member here, though. We haven't, I haven't justified becoming a member yet. Right. But I, I, I got a feeling I will soon, though. Got a feeling I will soon. Yeah. Yeah, Lady Celtic Moon, I hope those things... Uh, <laughs> Those things lit up for you, and I hope y'all didn't hear me banging around in the room. You probably did, because this mic picks everything up. Stupid mic. <laughs> oh, KG says, love them backlit keyboards. I know, KG, right? You, hmm. could, be, you could be in a nice dark room with the with the monitor. Because I like, I like it when it's dark when I'm working on the digital tablet, because I feel like you can see everything on the screen better. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I think I think that you can see the screen better. I think you can see the line work better. When you don't have any light um, reflecting onto it, I think it just it it's awesome. It's amazing. And I have the textured glass uh, digital tablet, so it's kind of matte finish. So it it doesn't really reflect out of light, but when uh, when there's light on, you can actually see that you can actually kind of see the matte finish on it. And when you have no light on, it just it just looks like a regular display tablet. So I like it. Right. I like it. I like it. I like it. 
But yeah, Lady Celtic Moon, those are the trade paperbacks that you were looking at. And then, boom, itself does the actual floppies that come out every month. And if you like the trade paperbacks, you're gonna you're gonna like uh, you're gonna like the floppies, man. I, I'm I've really been enjoying that, and I you know a lot of people laugh like, oh, you're really reading Firefly. I really like the show, and I really think they did a good job with the books. Okay. Um, you know, that they're staying with the lore. You know, uh, they've gone away from using the the um, TV characters now, but you can still kind of tell who who Mal is and all that good stuff. And um, so I, I, I kind of enjoy it. And in the Boom series, as opposed to the trade paperbacks, the trade paperbacks, um, oh, shoot, what was that? They collect oh, the Dark Horse stuff? Uh, I, the Dark Horse, they don't have any of that anymore. It's all Boom now. Um, but but I mean, it was, was it, is it collecting stuff that was originally published? Um, By Dark Horse. Let me see. Let me look at the book again. Hold on. Boom. No, this is actually from Boom. Legacy oh. Edition. I think the new stuff is from Dark Horse. I have to find the, the, the floppy. Right. Okay, let me... Now, now I'm curious. Now I have to go find the floppy. Now you're going to have to excuse me for a minute as I, as I rummage. Okay. So I know sometimes with these licensed properties, you know, when a company gets the license... They also get the rights to republish stuff that was previously published by another company. I mean, I think Dark Horse reprinted a lot of the old Marvel Star Wars. Mm -hmm. They had the license. Brian like, thinks it's interesting how you use red pencils to ink, o to ink over, to pe and depending on what color palette she's using, she goes for either light blue or lately white pencil. Yeah, I, use I just... I think the reds, especially if if the lead is really really light, I think the reds work better than the light blues on paper. I can't see the light blue lines on paper. When I use a light blue pencil, I can't see the lines. I have to use red when I'm working traditional as well. Uh, excuse me, excuse me as I go look for this. Yeah, y'all making me work hard. I gotta actually get up from my chair now. Hold on, so I'm gonna mute my mic so y'all don't hear all the bumbling and stumbling. Right. I figured if Nerd Wonder could do it, I could do it too. Well, anyway, since I posed the question, I'm going to answer my question. Here's my selection. This is Castle Waiting by Linda Medley. Um, and there are several... Um, trade paperback volumes she also collected the entire series into two hard covers but they're more uh book size hard covers fit on your bookshelf and um this is you know basically the story of uh the characters who wind up inhabiting sleeping beauty's castle after sleeping beauty has taken off with the prince and left everybody high and dry uh, <laughs> So you get some really unusual characters and you can tell that this is a labor of love because the artwork is just beautiful. Uh, so I can't recommend this highly enough to anybody who really wants a good read castle waiting. Mm. That sounds cool. I don't really read anything, so I have nothing. Sorry. I haven't really been reading anything from uh, Boom. Read old Star Wars books, people. <laughs> books or comics? Forget about huh? comics. Comics, whatever's, you know. Did you guys watch the, the teasers for, you know, what they say is going to happen in the new movie? Dude, it's going to be... Nine. Yeah, it's gonna be a horror show. Oh Lord, if they're gonna do it, if the rumors are true. Oh, sad. they screwed over that franchise so hard. Well, it's franchise not even fun. Done. Franchise is done. I mean, Disney wanted to reap all the benefits without giving any residuals to Lucas. So, right. Yeah. Go go make new characters that nobody cares about. 
Yeah. That's something that really bugs me. They get mad. They they uh, get upset when people <laughs> they get upset when people uh, criticize their work, but they'll speak ill of the uh, people who made their their uh, cheap look cheesy little reboot possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, if you want to get me to go to galaxy's edge and pay all that money to go to that park then you need to give me cloud city you need to give me the death star you know maybe give me a give give me a bike ride give me a job of the hutt's throne room oh yeah, yeah. I mean, Dude, come on. I mean, nobody wants to see that everybody wants to see that come on with a rancor full size mm-hmm. there we go that'll be amazing you know but no let's go let's go make our Let's go make our our park called uh, the the city Batu. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, in Asia, Batu is like met. <laughs> it's drugs. Oh no! <laughs> ruh, ruh. Good job, Disney. You did a good <laughs> Google search of what the hell it means in other languages. Awesome. What happened now? Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the same people. And but the reason why I know about that, because in Hawaii, like about 10 years ago, 15 years ago, uh, we had a big Batu, you know, infestation. A lot of people was hooked on that, that junk. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, there's not many people who could be bothered to uh, do any research to see what uh, uh, Kelly Marie trans nationality was. Well, we're anyway. going... Yeah, we're going to uh, we're going to try to cater to the Chinese market, even though you're, uh, the, even though the actress you're trying to promote is Vietnamese. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, the worst character ever that screwed over that uh, Finn. I mean, Finn could have been known as one of the greatest heroes of all time if he sat that's right. I was, I was so pissed when she did that. I was like. No, you don't take a character's moment like that and just screw it over exactly. like that. Exactly. He got screwed over big time. That was his moment of heroism. Yep. <laughs> that would have made it all worthwhile, but no, they had to go screw that over. They screwed the pooch. <laughs> y'all, okay. y'all, y'all, y'all. Into all those other shows that that, uh, that talk crap about Star Wars. Oh, we okay. Got... So y'all back, on, <laughs> y'all back on Star Wars again? Oh. Uh, <laughs> We never left Star Wars. I left a long time ago. I don't know why I, I was haven't. Say. <laughs> I have a friend that... I don't know. I why y'all live it in the past? I talked to a friend yesterday. He's like, oh, you're going to go to the Star Wars? I'm like, no. Oh, man, why not? I'm like, gosh, I hate that old. Sucks. <laughs> uh, I don't know why y'all... Defending it. I couldn't believe he was defending it. I was like, seriously, dude. It's it's not good. It's not good. At all. You not know? good at all. It's like uh like like the the phase four of Marvel. I might not I might not give them a dime. Dude, it's it Marvel's done. Like I love right, Marvel. Right. I love Their Marvel. But, Sorry. But I, I can't deal with what you're gonna about you what you're about to do. It does not right. coincide with what I like. And I'm just not gonna give you money just to give you money. People Skunk Girl is not a Mary Sue. Right. It's 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 a cool yeah. it's it's a cool she's not Ray. She she's not a Mary Sue, so she, she does have the hero archetype, she has to overcome, she has to do some stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We got <laughs> you know, not perfect. Yeah. All right, so Lady Celtic Moon, I sent you a picture of the floppy. It is by Boom. It is by Boom. That's the last issue they printed. I'm waiting on the next issue to come out, which is issue number nine. So I put it on my pool list. All right. So I'm going to ask you all a question. This might be a little controversial. Uh Uh-oh. A little controversial. I know we got some people here that that are of the faith. Of the faith. Have you all looked at the second comic? Second coming? Hell no. No. Hell no. I wouldn't touch someone that's in football. Why? 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 I don't mind new comics, so. <laughs> oh, okay. So, well, my curiosity, 
because I'm a very curious guy, prompted me to pick it up, and I read it. And it's not a good book. <laughs> oh lord it, it's not a good book um i overheard well you know i i i, I leave i live in sodom and gomorrah pretty much but anyway i digress so i overheard the clerks talking about how good the book is blah 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 blah, blah. and i was like okay maybe it's not what i think it is you know maybe it's just satire and, and it is satire, but it, it's not good satire. I was like, <laughs> I was like, for real, this is this is how you how you see this whole situation. So I, I was not, you know, I don't know. He should have stuck. He should have stuck to doing The Walking Dead. Um, because I think that's the guy who wrote it. Is the guy that wrote The Walking Dead? No, it's not. It's not Robert Kirkman. No. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, you're right. It's Russell, Pace, Kirk, and Troy. So Kirk is not Kirkman? Uh, no. Uh, all right. Well, anyway. Yeah. Wow. Just yeah, wow. no. If it, was, if it was Kirkman, it would be done through Image because he's one of the partners. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. true. This is but, done through... But, you know, I... But this I was done that, through the vertigo. No, yeah, it's per, done through Personally, I believe that, that... I believe that DC did not publish it they made the, the choice not to publish it not because they were afraid of controversy or because they had you know a petition of all the, a bunch of people saying you know don't you shouldn't publish this book because probably most of those people weren't going to buy the book anyway um i think the orders were just too low yeah it, it, that's my it, opinion they didn't they didn't have a lot in the store number one number two it was like one or two of them and wow it's not it's not good <laughs> well, I'm glad that you had that reaction. Right. Well, if you had the other reaction, we'd be like, oh. no, no. Now, I mean, now Tommy Chabroni likes it. He's reviewed it. Yeah, but I don't see what he sees. I mean, I get the satire part. I get the satire part. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I could take a joke. Sure. God invented humor. Come on. But yes. but the correct characterization, I can't never say that word. Characterization. Of uh certain deities, aka God and and Jesus, the Son. Um, wow. You know, that is it, it I don't get it. I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Well, because you don't mock Jesus, that's why you don't understand. Yeah. It's for people that mock Jesus. Like, yeah. you know what? You know, just you don't like somebody's religion. Just leave it alone. I will not go out and mock anybody else's religion. That's their thing. Leave it alone. I don't yeah. understand. You know, they they um. There's some people that just have to be hateful. You know? Yeah. It's basically right. like a Three Stooges. If you count the hero of the book as a third stooge, so you got. I guess his version of the Trinity is Larry Curly and Mo. <laughs> um wow is all i can say you know um and and um yeah it's it i don't know you know i read it and i try to i try to be open-minded i was like i'm, I'm gonna try to be open-minded you know it, it's satire right. and um but then i was I, so i i bought both issues one and two because i try to give it a shot and um i don't i don't think the third one is out but I, for sure i'm not getting the third one um yeah Beautiful Art by Tisha says hello. Hi, how you doing? Beautiful Art by Tisha. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Um, so basically, you know, they, they have got as um, egotistical, belligerent, self-centered um, deity. And then they have Jesus as a hapless, bumbling, stumbling fool. And I was like, Wow. That that is, it's kind of a big, you know, I don't know. I, I'm still kind of flabbergasted about it because I don't even know how to how to fully explain it. To be honest with you, uh, just go and watch your boy. Zach. Uh, what now? Your boy Zach did a reaction to it, and he he was like, "It's not even funny." 
the humor is not even funny. It's it's like <laughs> very childish humor and like okay, uh, stop yeah. I, I didn't see that, and I wish I would have seen it because that would have saved me a couple of bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Because you know, and uh, but you know, it is what it is. You know, you live and you learn. Uh, I wanted to be open minded about it and check it out. I was curious. My curiosity got the best out of me. Uh -oh. um, and, and I read it, and wow, you know, I mean, like I said, I could take a joke, man. You know, I, I was, you know, I was in the army, and you know, whatever. You know how the military is; they're always joking and yeah. joking and smoking. But that, I, I just, I don't know. You, you still that I. I read this like a, almost two, two and a half weeks ago. I'm still like, wow, I can't believe I read that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, why? Why did I do that to myself? You know? Huh. That's exactly what I said when I picked up Black AF. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that the Kwanzaa thing? Yes. Oh. Yeah. I, didn't, I never picked that one up, to be honest with you. You are uh, fortunate. So I also picked up some of the new what ifs, or two of the new what ifs. That, uh, or there might be reprinted what ifs. I don't know, but uh, Marvel is doing a what if series again. And so I picked up a couple of those. And uh, the one that I like the best is actually the if, if, what if Spider Man was Punisher? That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Knowing them, they'll probably make that canon sooner or later. Nah. But at the end of the book, you know, Frank Castle still becomes the Punisher. Um, because no matter what, no, because of the what if storyline, it still led to some point where, you know, Frank's family got murdered. And, right. and, uh, cause, cause, uh, Spider Man's conscience got the better of him, you know, cause you know, Spider Man is a, a good guy. Like a really good guy. With great power must come great responsibility. You know, you know, he's like a really good guy. So throughout the book, when he was, you know, doing the Punisher style thing, his conscience was eating away at him. So he got to the point where he was like, I'm done with this, you know. And uh, so he throws the Punisher custom away into the trash can. Frank's family gets murdered. Frank stumbles into that alleyway and finds the Punisher custom. And then... It ends right there. Cool. So, so then Frank Castle becomes the Punisher, and it, and it follows the Frank Castle storyline with I think the Costa, the Costa family, something like that. Anyway, but I like that one. I thought that was a pretty cool Spider-Man book. So if anybody likes What If series and you find a Spider-Man one, it's worth the buy. At least the I thought so. The original What If series was just so depressing. They made sure that when you read the what if story, that you had to accept the canon that, you know, we did it for a reason and look at what happens. Everything, it always was a bad ending to the what if series. Yeah. If you ever read the old one, <laughs> it was very biased against anything to change the Marvel history. It was so hilarious. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Yeah. The, the, um, one of the X Men what ifs was like that. Uh, the what if uh, Phoenix hadn't died? Yeah, and then it got worse. That's reprinted. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, let it, yeah it let up the days. It got into some days in the future past stuff. Yeah, no, you know they reprinted that one. I saw it. So, so that what if is actually being is been reprinted and is available, but yeah. I didn't. It didn't interest me. I, I yeah. did make the mistake of buying uh, the what if uh, Ghost Rider became metal. That was dumb. Became what? Metal. Metal? Like, yeah, like heavy metal. Like, so yeah. what, did he have a flame mohawk or something? Or no, something? some metal flame band. Fire. It was really dumb. Like, I should burn that book, to be honest with you. Basically, <laughs> basically in that story, well, some, some metal rock band, devil-worshipping rock band, yeah. goes oh, to Marvel oh. and puts their ink in the, in the, in the um, ink wells. Puts their blood in the ink wells to print the comics. Like Kiss. To, yeah, to do a ritual, which then brings this demon thing that starts killing off the earth, and it's only the demon thing and the ghost rider left over. Mm. It, it was, what I tell you, it was dumb. It was dumb. 
Dumb. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to the ERT show where bad comics burn. <laughs> now that comic should be burned. I, I'm yeah. not gonna lie. That that one and the, and the two second comic, uh, the ball, all three of those should be burned and clenched. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like I'm taking them. I'm taking them to a priest and have holy water sprinkled on all three of those comic books. <laughs> it's done. They're, they're dumb. Anyway, um, Lady Catherine says, I did spend $110 at Barnes & Noble. Jeez, that's a lot of money. What did you get at Barnes & Noble? Uh, they got everything. They got trade paperbacks. You know, they got No, books. what did she get that she spent that much? Dude, I, sometimes I spend that much just going to the LCS. What are you talking about? I lay, that, hey, that, I walk into the LCS. That lady's happy. She's like, oh, I'm getting paid. <laughs> Well, that, that's how I get my deals because they know that I spend money there. So that's why I get the cool stuff, you know. Um, Ryan yeah. says you want a good read Spider Man life story. I'll look for it. Yeah. I hope she got a membership card. Yeah, I actually uh, I did get one from my store. <laughs> I was like, look, I'm just gonna become a member. It's <laughs> like, like you know, uh, y'all know me now, I, you know, and, and it's funny um, because I would never think. Like, my LCS has got the weirdest people in the world. They got the blue hairs. They got the purple hairs. They got the weird gaming emo goth people in there. I was like, geez. I walk in there, I'm like, I'm out of place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where is all these people? Where they come from? Well, anyway. Yeah, where's the uh, norm? Your LCS is hot topic. <laughs> kind of. But no, they, my LCS is huge, bro. It's a two. It's basically a two-story building full of comic books. Whoa! Wow! That thing is huge. I get lost in there. Uh, Heaven von Scriber says, "I have the blue hair." <laughs> yeah, no, nah, man, it's huge. It's huge. It's Donald Trump. Huge. <laughs> it's crazy. No, Orange no, man, but man. It, it's it's uh it it's uh it's it's big, man. It's big. It, it's. And I like it though because they're pretty chill in there. Um, they don't bother me. I, I walk in there with Cyber Frog and Lone Star t shirts and talk about Skunk Girl, and they don't even get mad about it. They're like, oh, really? I said, man, y'all should check out Skunk Girl if y'all, are, you know, y'all into girl power stuff. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, you don't need no man. Yeah. That's how you do it. You know, like, hey, you, you, yeah. y'all, y'all seem to be like pretty, uh, pretty uh, progressive people in here. <laughs> yeah, which, yeah, uh, that's, which, kinda, you that's know. kinda how you, that's how you do when they start talking that. Uh, uh, they don't like, uh, they don't, they don't like women because they don't like this character. Oh yeah, maybe you like Skunk Girl. Yeah, I told them about it. Now they said they looked into it, but I don't know if they they looked into it, looked into it. Yeah, right. You know, they said, oh yeah, we'll check it out. And I'm, next time I go, I'll be like, "Hey, did you did you check it out? Did you go there? Did you really? Did you did you, did you oh. really though? Really? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm not telling them to buy it for the store. I'm just like buy it for right. you personally. You know what I'm saying? I know. Like, but but I will give them this: they do have a section for self-published indie comics. Cool. Now they don't Intro. sell. The same ones have been there since I've been going. <laughs> 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 but they're there huh. but they're there they do have a section for self-published and indie comics for people that you know try to sell their comics at the shop and whatnot it's really mm-hmm. small it's like one shelf um that figures but i mean how many indie people in this area you know I, I i don't know but but the thing is they're open to having it in their store yeah that's that's yeah, what, Say again? It's a start. Yeah. Yes, it is a start. But I mean, eventually you would want to be able to, like even Manny or whomever, to be able to sell directly to the shops, you know? Right. Yeah. Because then that gives you, that gives you a, a broader reach, you know? Uh, because people don't always watch Manny or EOTs on YouTube. People don't know. You know, where um, Twitter, yeah, on the Twitter, yeah. Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. 
But you know, if they go, if they're like me and they're curious and they look through the whole store, like I do, up and down every shelf, um, you'll find <laughs> you find that section and you're like, oh, what what's this? This looks cool. This is this is for real. You got like a section for indie books, like no, you know, no labels, no Marvel, no image, you know. And and I posed that question the other day on uh, Rod's channel that we're talking to this dude who's trying to self publish. I was like, well, mm -hmm. do you still consider Image? Dark Horse. Um, what's the other one? Does Image, Dark Horse. Boom. IDW. IDW. IDW Dynamite. Boom. Dynamite. There you go. Those are the three I mentioned. Dynamite, Image, and um, Dark Horse. Do you still consider them to be indie, indie books? Right? No. And they said yes. And I was like, Really? Dynamite does a lot of licensing. I said, because those companies are established. They've been around since the 90s. Yeah. Not, not to mention they're, not to mention they're uh, grabbing licensed material like crazy. Well, and, and what I'm saying is, and, and they're distributed through Diamond, right? Now, yeah. they may not pay their artists like Marvel and DC, but they have cachet. Is that the right word to use for this? Cachet? I guess. I don't know what you're trying to say. Well, they have they have clout. You know, people know who Image is. You, people know who Image, Dynamite, IDW, and um, Dark Horse are, right? Like, anybody that reads comics, they know those, yeah. those brands, right? I mean, I'm yeah, like, right. yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, right. at, so at what point, right, at what point do you stop saying that Image is an independent comic book? At what point? At the point, okay, Spawn had a movie. All right? So, you know. Savage Dragon had a show. Exactly. So, so what I'm saying. Oh, uh, Evan Von Scriver says, Cache is correct. Yeah. So, uh, you know, like some of these other people haven't had that. They haven't had TV shows. They haven't had, you know, they don't, they don't make that kind of money. Image makes money. The artists might not make money, but Image itself makes money. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? IDW yeah. itself makes money. Uh, Dynamite has to make money, or they wouldn't be able to make comic books, right? But, it's not yeah. like it's not like true independent creators like Manny. I mean, Manny Manny is fortunate. He's blessed. His situation is real different. He doesn't depend on the books to make a living. But no. But if Manny depended on books to make a living, you know what I'm saying? He'd be screwed. He is an independent, independent for real. You know what I'm saying? Like that's an indie book, in my opinion. It's one guy trying to push his book. Yes. You know, so so they were like, "No, uh, I don't agree with you. I think they're still called indies." And I was like, uh, "I don't think so. I think I think." Well, I guess. I think okay, did progress. you ask him what his idea of an indie is? Yeah, his idea of indie was Image and IDW, and the reason why this why he said so, uh, to his 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 uh, reasoning is. They don't have a big corporation backing them like Disney and Fox hmm. and Sony. And I was like, but they could. Neither did Marvel at one point. Neither did DC or Marvel at one point. And this is like they, they, way before they were in a... They, and that was way before they got in that financial bind of theirs. Yeah, and, Pablo, well, and I agree with Pablo on that. He says, Image is probably not indie, but people that publish through Image are. That is true, but yeah. and that's what I was saying. Image mm -hmm. makes money. Now I don't know the artists, or the comic book creators that publish through Image make money. Ten minute warning says KG, but Image mm -hmm. as a brand, because Marvel as a brand is considered one of the big two, correct? Yes. Because mm -hmm. Marvel is the brand, DC is the brand, Vertical yeah. falls under DC is the brand, even though they've they've imploded. They're not. That. Yeah, they're they're done. You know, but. But image is a brand, right? Yeah. So even though image accepts independent creators, which is cool, but I think uh, from what I've heard, some people say it's not all that glorious to publish on the image unless your book really takes off. You wind up owing more than what you make. So I don't know how true or false that is because I've never done that through image, but I've heard it well, said a couple I mean, times. I I can tell you when um, my friend Randy did his series, The Dolls, he was doing it through Image. The first issue was their top-ordered book for that month. 
The mm -hmm. second issue, of course, retailers do what they always do. They cut the orders in half. And by the third issue, the orders, you know, had been cut so far that he couldn't afford to, you know, to do another issue. Right. So he didn't even get to finish it. Hmm. See, and, and that's what I'm saying. And, but, but, and that's, that's not, that's image. Image makes his money. Image is going to make his money. It's yep. the creator that gets shafted. Yeah. You know, but I digress. I digress. You know, you but not, but that, cause I don't think they're independent companies anymore. I don't think they're indie companies. You know, I, I just think that they've been around so long that they're mainstream. Yeah. That's my opinion. Yeah. You know, so when people say I buy indie books, I'm like, oh, what, well, well, how do you find your books? Kickstarter, Indiegogo? Oh, no, I buy Image. I'm like, I don't really think you're buying indie books, buddy. Like, you might, you know, maybe, eh, I don't know. Image is the, the third largest publisher. Yeah. I mean, the artist working for them might, the artist doing books for them might not be uh, necessarily man. directly, or I was going to say directly employed by them, but the company itself, I wouldn't say it. Not so indie. Yeah, and, and that's all I'm trying to say. It's like if you really support independent artists, you know, I don't think by saying that you buy from Image it, or Valiant. Valiant is another one that's been around forever. Yeah. Uh, with Hero XOXO and Bloodshot and uh, what else did they have? Um, Shadow Man. Shadow Archer Man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, Harbinger. Harbinger, oh. there you go. Okay, so Josh says Image Rules said that they take a fee for publishing and the rest is up to you and your team. Yeah, but that publishing fee is, I don't know. I I know, and I'm not trying to throw Mr. Shipman under the bus, but I believe that Gary once said something about that same situation. That he, he had tried to publish through Image once and it just didn't work out for him either. Through Packing's Land. Yeah, they have to pay Image to publish. They, so Image, so so I say again, is Image an independent company, like an indie book? No, I don't think so. And it, Image is the brand now, like Marvel is the brand, like DC yeah. is the brand, like Nike is like Air Jordans is a brand of Nike. You know what I'm saying? So it's a it's a I just don't I just don't see it that way. And I could be wrong, you know, I could be wrong. But when I think about independent creators, I think about people like Manny, you know, um, like, uh, what, what's his name, Larry and Slick Jimmy and people like that, you know. That's what I think about as far as, like, independent creators, you know. Mm -hmm. The small guy, you know, um, maybe the Billy Tucci's, um, you know, El Guapo, <clears throat> people like that. And so, so... I just didn't agree with that assessment. And I get what he's saying. You know, they're not backed by big corporations. I got it, you know. But any day now, you know, Image could hit. I mean, if actually if you think about it, The Walking Dead's been on TMC for how many years? Right. It's like eight, nine, ten seasons. How many seasons in The Walking Dead? A lot. So, so you can't even tell me that. I mean, you know... In order for uh, TMC to make that, they got to pay royalties to Image, right? Mm. Right. So does that mean that they're, that they're now backed by a big corporation? I, I don't know. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, but that's that right. book. It's not. There's not a big corporation that's backing everything they do. That's true. But but because the brand of Image is there, you know, like, hey, you know, The Walking Dead is by you know, Kirkman and Kirkman is image, then people will look, you know what I'm saying? But Marania says, I think Marania got the definition right. If a normie can name the company, then it's mainstream. I think, I think that's the end of the, that's very good. Yeah. That's the end of the discussion. I think Marania has came in clear exactly. and concise with a good point. Yeah. Like how many people know what Alterna comics comics is? How many? I went to five comic shops when I was delivering preview copies of William the Last for Brian Shearer. And when I went to each one, I mentioned Alterna. And only the shop that I regularly would go to, you know, that's run by a friend of mine, he was the only one that was familiar with Alterna, that had even heard of him. Yeah. The defense restaurant. Honor. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that, says Paolo Romero, but you got to admit it, though, man. 
if, if people that are not hardcore, if someone that's not a hardcore comic book guy can say, yeah, I know of Image. I, I don't know. I think I think they've been around a long time. But anyway. Yeah. Anyway, KG's keeping me on track, hitting me with the five-minute warning, four-minute warning. So, trusty psychic, give yourself an outro. What are you working on, sir? And I'm working on the commission of El Borinquenir for Mr. ERTs as his character um, through the years. And, uh, yeah, it's coming along. Um, and if you want to get in touch with me, you can find me at Trusty Sidekick 3 on Twitter. The person who has Trusty Sidekick hasn't tweeted in five years and only tweeted about three times, but... There's no way to get that name. <laughs> so anyway, uh, also trusty sidekick art on Instagram. And of course here with the digital bullpen and with Manning and Good Dog Press. Thank you, sir. Shinobi Raccoon. Okay. You can find me at on Twitter and Instagram, both at Shinobi Raccoon. Um, <clears throat> as uh, Manny has mentioned, the, the Unbreathable Skunko is on demand. It'll be up there for a little bit. And with that, you will have a five-page short story featuring Ch Cherry Raccoon. Cherry Blossom. Cherry Blossom. <laughs> Get your own character right, Shinobi. <laughs> yes, indeed. And speaking, the great segue of the Unbreathable Skunk Girl by Mr. Manny DeBelt Correa. Go ahead, sir. We're going to have to work on that elevator pitch there. We're going to get you. So when your book is going to come out, you're going to be an old hack at this. You're going to be awesome. Thank you for having me on today, uh, ERT. And awesome panel, as always. Great art. Great conversation. Stay out of the mud. Stay out of the darn uh, drama. That's what. That's the way we like it over here. And you can find Skunker Indie Man on Indiegogo for at least until I start fulfilling. And it's going to come real fast, people. It's it's coming. So we, you know, I, I made sure that I gave me a buffer. I did say I will get the book out to people in November. We're going to beat that by a, a mile. We, we're going to get that to you guys way before November. Uh, you can find me on Good Dog Press. It used to be Monday and Friday nights. There's going to be a change, people. There's going to be a change. And I'll talk to ERTs af after this right. about what, what's coming on. But tomorrow night, most likely I will have a stream, but don't expect it to be at 10, 10 o'clock Eastern. But it, it, we'll, we'll do something tomorrow night and, and on Saturday night. All right. And you can get me on Twitter, Good Dog Press, and Instagram, The Unbreathable Skunk Girl. And thanks for having me on. And what I'm working on right now, this is actually going to go into an Unbreathable Skunk Girl. It's just a collage of all kinds of skunk girls through the last 10 months or so. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Uh, and uh, even Von Scriber, who sent a sticker via uh, DLive that says, Hail Raven, wants me to tell uh, Pope Fire know that he sent a sticker via DLive saying, Hail Raven. So the Pope Fire. <laughs> Even Von Skyver sent a <laughs> sticker that says "Hail Raven" on it. I, I do like that about D Live. They have some cool little, cool little stuff, man. Um, but anyway, my name is Ortiz, man. Um, sorry about the whole rustling back and forth getting these books. I just wanted to make sure Lady Celtic Moon got the right book. <laughs> um, but uh, if you haven't checked out Firefly by Boom, and if you like the show Firefly, definitely check out the book. It's uh, you can get the legacy stuff from Josh Whedon. It is it's really good. It picks up right after the movie, uh, Serenity. Uh, for those of you that actually like that kind of stuff, I do, so I did, and I enjoyed it. Also, um, don't forget that you can find us here on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And for those of you who like my inking videos, I will not be doing those for a while. I I got some other stuff I got to do, so I don't have time to, uh, to do those inking videos, the little time lapses. But once I'm done with that project... Um, then I'll, I'll be do it back to doing those. I kind of like doing those because it gives people like five minute, six minute little quick videos to check out, you know, and, and snack on. But got some stuff going on and I'll talk about it later on. I don't know if I have been given the clearance to talk about it yet, 
but uh, I mean, I mean, uh, you'll know about it soon. This is gonna be interesting stuff. Interesting stuff coming down the pipe. I'm telling you guys, good things are happening to the folks at the digital bullpen. You don't yeah. believe me? Stick around. You're going to cause you, things are gonna start unraveling, and you're gonna start seeing things. And I'm telling you, man, good things are happening for the people in the digital bullpen, and you, the audience, are part of it and other people that are part of it behind the scenes. And I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna be surprised, dazed, and amazed. But anyway, with all that being said, I one minute passed. Uh, so I wanna thank everybody for joining us. God bless and good night. Aloha. Ciao. Uh,